The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey Native Fruit. Thank you so much, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her power to avenge you. Know, you yes, you find things you want and need. You cannot be found unless you're lost. Lady Ada's gonna find you. Oh, you know what? Hold on. After she does. I just later. realized my display is set to 720, so let me let me boost it to uh, boost 1080. It. Boost it. Let me boost it to 720. Press the boost button. Okay. Boost. We're boosted. Okay, thanks. Right. It's a little easier to see the, the UI and the text. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As you were saying. No, that's it. That's it? Okay. That was my intro. Thanks. We're here. Okay. So, um, we had a couple requests this week to carry more stepper drivers at Adafruit. And I will totally admit that they're right. We don't really stock a lot of stepper drivers. We have, like, breakout boards for the TB6612 or DRV8833. And um, these are boards that you can use to drive steppers, but they don't do micro-stepping automatically, like you'd have to use PWM. And there's a lot of these like all-in-one little driver chips um, that Pololo especially has like done an excellent job just kind of creating these standardized breakouts that are used in almost every 3D printer and CNC project where you have these little boards you can pop in and out with your favorite stepper. And we actually even covered, you know, one of these kinds of stepper drivers on uh, INMPI, the, the Trinamic um, uh, micro, like silent step, step silent, micro blah, 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 step thing. So using this configuration interface, um, MS1, spread PDNU, or whatever, and then step endure. And what's really nice about these is once you set up the configuration, you just, the direction pin high or low is forward or back. And then you just toggle step and it does the micro step. And it's like, that's it. It does everything. It does it does the current management. It does the micro stepping management. It counts. It integrates. It does your dishes. It's, they're amazing. Um, they're a little more expensive, but um, they're really, really easy. And what's nice is, you know, you can even drive them from something like a Raspberry Pi. You don't need real time control because as long as you just toggle the step and even the slowest um, single board computer with like the biggest delay. It's not going to be more than like 10, 30 milliseconds. It's going to, it'll be just fine. So there's a whole family of these and you know, I don't know what the first one that came out with, but, um, we did a design for like the A4983 and even this was kind of late. This was a stepper driver design that K-Town did, um, back when he was doing designs with us. And, um, you know, we kind of followed the, um, the layout. It's kind of, it's kind of a chunky board, but it has this chip in the middle and then you can control it with, you know, the micro stepping setup, ground, enable, reset, sleep, door, step and power. Um, and so I thought like, you know, I'd also design a board for kind of like the most popular, not the best, but the most popular of the series, the A. 4988, which is the update for the 4983. Um, this one really kind of like nailed it a little bit. This again is used in just like virtually every low cost CNC, 3D printing, stepping, driving thing. Um, you have the three control pins, reset, sleep, enable, um, during step. And then for me, I actually had the, um, for this board, I have the power, the motor power input here and the four, um, control outputs and this is going to be terminal blocks although I might make a version that has like you know a plug-in as well um happy with this and stuff but there's one downside for the a4988 which is that it is let's look it up a4988 I think the minimum voltage I mean like there's like 25,000 stocks. So you can see this is a quite a popular chip over at DigiKey. Um, <clears throat> the logic can be three or five volts um, and what, it's amazing capacity up to two amps per, um, per drive, per leg. But the voltage for the motor, I believe is eight volts minimum. Yeah. Load supply voltage range eight to 35, which is great because it covers like the most popular 12 volts that we've seen. And I've also seen 24 volt motors. 
but we do have some motors that we stuck like little mini steppers that are um, five volt. Um, they actually are limited. Like you really don't want to drive them at a higher voltage range, even if you're like, I mean, I guess you could current limit them, but still like you want to drive it off of five volts because you have a lot of five volts around. So I wanted to find something on DigiKey that was, um, had the same kind of like concept where you have the, the step select and then reset enable sleep and then step and direction and bipolar output, but can do three or five volt logic for the signals, which is very common. I'm not worried about that, but can do down to five volts, but as high as 12. So I want it to like be a little, it doesn't have to go up to 35. I just want it to be at least 12 but down to um, five volts. So let's go, well actually, you know, we're here, we can just go to the motor driver controllers category. Um, and there's a lot, there's like 5,000, but we'll, we'll start paring them down by only looking for active and then normally stocking. And I'm going to just exclude the marketplace stuff for now. And that at least gets, gets us down to 1,400. Next up. Um, the motor type. So I don't want it to be a voice coil or piezo driver or brush DC, which is very common. I wanted to do stepper. This is stepper, stepper. Um, and then I'll do universal, although I don't have a lot of hopes for that, but definitely not, not just brush DC. It should be able to do, cause again, I want to do that stepping interface. Um, so let's filter on that. And now we have like 300. Um, so the next up is the function. Well, actually, so sorry, let's look at the step resolution. Well, so I did want to have it do be able to do like more than just one step. Um, I want to do like at least like 1 16th or 1 8th. So I selected all of these and then I took away like there's just only a couple but I figure I'd filter them out. Okay. All right, and then next it was the function. So I wasn't like, I was kind of confused about the function, but then when I looked, although, you know, you can see here, there's, it said, I'll say, um, this says step direction, it's kind of promising. There's so much, like I kind of ignored the applications because that's a little confusing. Let's look at voltage. So there's voltage supply and then voltage load. Voltage load is the thing that you're going to drive. So again, I want it to um, go up to 12 volts. I'm gonna ignore this 10 volt one. And I'm going to pick out the ones that are five to 12. Looks like there's quite a lot of options. So I'm just option clicking five. And then I picked up like this one and I, I'll do the dash as well. Okay. All right, 95 options. And then I start to noticing, oh, there's like a couple that are like this one. And I'm like, oh, the EMC 23, I know this. This is a fan control chip. And then driver, I was like, well, what's the difference between driver and driver fully integrated? Driver not integrated is, um, you have to have a separate H bridge. And usually you, you, you do that with, um, like in this case, it's like a FET or something. So we don't want that. We want something that's like, again, all in one. So let's go back up here. And then we're gonna take away fan control and we're gonna take away driver. And then just so you know, I also checked controller commutation and speed. Those are also, they're not, they don't actually have like the um, H bridges built in. We want, we basically want driver fully integrated power control phase. All right, so this gives us like 50 options. And then finally, I don't want through hole. I don't want surface mount. I think there's like one through hole chip. Okay. All right, so now we have um, a lot of options. Some of these are very familiar. I've seen like the ST Spin series and the DRV88, you know, series. And then those Allegro chips. Um, those are here. And if we, yeah, you can filter downward by quantity. You'll get, you know, Allegro chips and then again more st spin um but i wanted to actually do by by price to start and there's a couple options that looked appealing one is um the drv 8824 series this looked 
pretty good. This is a dual H bridge stepper motor driver up to 32 micro stepping, step control, great. Um, I like this 8 to 14 volt power supply range, 1.4 amp per H bridge, which is great. Um, you know, TI makes very good drivers. It's a little confusing because it looks like, oh, can you give it three volt logic? It turns out like if you keep going down, the power supply for the motor is maxed, but there's an internal regulator. And so the control pins, you can give three or five volt logic. Actually, that's the max, but if you go down to like logic level, so the high, the basically high logic level is between 1.6 and 5.5. So yeah, you can use 3.3 volt or 5 volt logic. So this, this chip actually looks really good. Um, also like that it, I wouldn't be surprised if it was very, you know, it looks very familiar to the layout of the A4988. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this was like fairly easy to, to select in. They usually have like sense, they have like, you know, decay setting, micro stepping settings. Um, this is kind of cool, torque, DAC, scalar. Like they always have these little tweaks that let you, um, not, you know, you, you can have a voltage, but you can have the torque and current limit um, as well. So I like that. Um, but I also thought this was kind of nice. This is like very inexpensive which could be good. It's like, maybe I should make something very cheap and easy. Um, this is a Toshiba, also available in the QFN, which is great. And it has um, the control supply, 2.7 to 5.5 volts. Um, output current is gonna be less than the other one. This is only 0.8 amps, but maybe that's okay. And uh, on resistance is, you know, not too bad, about 1.2 ohms, and then micro step controller. So this one's interesting too. I have to look to see if this is yeah, the same, I think this is the same configuration. I think CW, CCW, so clockwise, counterclockwise, that's the same as direction. And I think CK is clock, which is like, you know, step. Um, but these two are really good. So I liked, and I'm gonna look into this one a little bit more. Um, it's you know, just the inexpensive it. I can make a little I squared C motor driver board and have maybe like a I squared C to step um, expander and you can make little chainable motor driver. So um, I'm gonna take a look at this one. You know, also check out the TI one, but the um, TC 78S600 series uh, for a direction and step medium voltage stepper driver. And that is the great search. Wait.